Hi everyone, welcome back to The Last Fan Standing. Today we have another audio commentary for you and another match we both haven't seen. I'm James along with Jim. All I know is that this match involves a shark cage. Yeah, so basically I was looking for stuff that we could do a commentary on and it immediately jumped out on me. Chief J Strombo and Bulldog Don Kent from the 1976 shark cage match. And when shark. you say shark cage, what do you think? A uh, small confined area looks like a toilet-sized prison cell. Yeah, and this is like, this is, well, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. You go in the water, shark goes in the water. Farewell, my dear Spain, there is fair Spanish ladies. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, we're in, we're in. Here we come, we come. Do you reckon they're going, what are we going to do, boys? So, yeah. We're in. We are in. Think of the idea. Madness. This is like Vince Russo, eat your heart out. You haven't even got enough room to swing a punch. Oh my god. I had to just see this in action. This is what would have happened, ready. Strongbow would have been on the dockyard speaking to his mate and he'd gone, Oh, Strongbow, mate, you know, I've got a shark cage, this crazy new contraption from California. California. Um, check it out, buddy. And he went, I've got an idea. I go in the cage, Don Kent goes in the cage. No sharks outside the cage. Farewell, my dear, fair Spanish ladies. So that's what happened. Or um, he was sitting on the beach and he thought of the idea and the camera went... Nyo. Oh, hang on. When he first... What year is this? 1976. Jaws came out one year before. Did it? You dirty been... dog. Yeah, that could have been... They I, went... don't, I don't reckon they were inspired by Do you know what? I do. Look at this. We will be seeing. I reckon Teeth. Strongbow went to watch Jaws again. <laughs> And he went, that shark cage put that thing there and this thing there. This is... No. Unbelievable. Look, what's happening? It's like, um... What the hell? How can this be a... Blood Look at the door opening. Oh, they're going to die. I'm in real shock at this. What? what? It's cut backstage, if you're watching with us, yeah, with I a censored X over the bloody man. Like something from D Generation X. No, it's like something from um, uh, the video Nasties. Why the, f the fuck am I What's watching? going on? So we'll skip away from the match and we'll go backstage and we'll put a cross over what you're supposed to be seeing. Uh, I reckon it's because when they had it edited, they went, this is bad. Fuck me. How's he going to get up? Fuck me. Oh my god. Oh, they cut away because it tipped up against the ropes, the shark cage. He's got a sleeper now. How's he going to get out? No movement. It wasn't a movement. There's... <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh, he's got something from his tights. How can you have a professional wrestling match when you can't move? He's got his tights. You, you, to... you can't do a move. Do you have to just get out of the cage? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So... But what would be the draw of the shark cage idea? I think you're meant to think it's like there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, truly. It's Is just, it? Yeah, so... It, there's nowhere to move. There's nowhere to swing People who want to have a fight, shall we? Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I'll be on you. <laughs> on some kind of sexual... <laughs> yes, there, is a, there is a sort of sexual homoeroticism into it. Ah, dear. Would you say so? I there, don't know. There is, because it's like on each other. Maybe. Maybe. I can Strongbow is exploring his sexuality like what is going on <laughs> he went I feel like I've got to see what happens if I'm on him like pushed up again look how he keeps getting out and getting dragged back in but he, he doesn't actually have to move to get out <laughs> I think that was like um, that was like uh, oh who was that when uh, basically Strongbow was lifting up by uh, Don Ken and banged his head on the top of the roof like um, Jenny Moody. <laughs> no, it was like, um, oh, what's that film where they hit their head on the roof? Oh, it's loads. It's loads. like Lauren Hardy, wasn't it? Yeah. There's nothing you can do, boys, what are in, they doing? in this match. Right, this match makes me feel like I should literally have access to the time travelling DeLorean. This is what I would travel back to. <laughs> Look how bad it is. To have a discussion with. Just, Strongbow before the match going, what are you doing, mate? What are you expecting from this? 
Now it's cut backstage again with a cross on the screen, yeah. not letting you see anything like something out of X Files. <laughs> it does look like the X Files X. Looks just like it. <laughs> Why would you cut back when you can't watch something? I don't know. Here we go. So the blood's been censored. Yeah. But I can see it. So I think maybe because they've got a bandage on him or something, I don't know. Just make, well, I've got an idea, put the X where the blood is. Yeah, I think it's because they had such primitive editorial abilities. And the interviewer looking like something out of Mean the, Street. The interviewer looking like the dude who does the TV show in Tiger King. Looking like Des O'Connor. This, right, so he's got him in the corner, like, if you've seen Dumb and Dumber, where uh, <laughs> Lloyd is, Lloyd is um, in the toilet, yeah. sucking his thumb. He's sea bass. Chief Safe Bumbo Strongbow is Seabass. No, that's the, that's King Ken. Is our that's Ken. Strongbow's down. Oh, yeah. King is our Seabass. What's happened to him? His ears come off. I told you what happened, okay, so forget it. No, sure fit sure thing, Lloyd, sure thing. <laughs> I wanna see the version of Dumb and Dumber where Harry didn't come in and um Lloyd had to deal with the trauma yeah. of uh of a of a rape by um, oh my god yeah by uh, sea bass that's what would have happened sea bass and the fellas offered to pick up our tab they're very nice put these on there too thing is right after you've seen forty seconds of this match you're pretty much done because yeah. what else can you One do else is shocking this is a sh this <laughs> it's, it's fascinating it's, Oh, that was incredible, Shrama. Where did you come up with a match like that? Saw in a movie once. That was incredible. So what happens? Did some sucker got caught in a shark cage and got beaten up scot free? No, in the movie, a shark came and slit every guy's throat. It was a good one. Oh, this is bad, guys. This is a bad one. Look at the sign. Look at everyone. The thing is, I kind of picked this because I thought, like... Oh, nothing can happen. It'll be comedic, but yeah, nothing. That's no capabilities. <laughs> They're just laying there. This is going to be the fun now, by the way. <laughs> so bad. Ah, it's so <laughs> bad. It's ah. torture. <laughs> oh god. What's he doing to him? What's the front row sign? Let's read the sign. Go away. Go away, bulldog. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Held by Silla back. This is mental because your options are punch, choke, choke, blowjob, right. <laughs> <laughs> blowjob, penetration. <laughs> oh dear! Oh my back! That really made me laugh. That one. <laughs> oh my back! The way you said it. Or bang the head on the roof. He's done that. This is like. <laughs> Think of that. This is oh, like sorry, Jaws. This is what like... can we do in this match? That, 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 or, or bang his head on the roof. This, this is like um, not Jaws the the shark. If Jaws from James Bond had a match <laughs> with um, the Great Carly. <laughs> no, if <laughs> if the shark in Batman sixties had his home taken and put in the wrestling world. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, but surely it's any shark's home. No, because he looked really shit. <laughs> 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 oh, he's so long. <laughs> he should be dead. He's choked him for four minutes straight. Joey Shrubbo's holding on to the bars. <laughs> yeah, whilst the man chokes him to death. He's bumping and grinding into him. He's bumping and grinding. Like... <laughs> whilst well, someone chokes him to death, he held on to the and bars. He, and bumps and grinds. Oh, dear. This is... Yeah. I can't. I, you can't blame me for picking it because it's like. Look at everyone's watching, just going, "What the hell?" There yeah, we go. Back the, of the, the corner. Now what's going on? <laughs> what? Who's fighting? I don't understand. They're putting a cross on the screen to get rid of the blood, and then you see the blood. It's like porridge, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah. It, it looks, looks like, like the co-star in Porridge. It looks like a set of Porridge. Go with away, with Ronnie Barker. Bow wow. Bowdy, bowdy, yeah. The whole, time, the whole 70s tint of, of programmes reminds me of Porridge starring Ronnie Barker. 
It does actually, yeah. It's... Anything you see in the 70s reminds you of porridge. Right, so Sam Ressa's now running, is pulling him from outside the cage. I think that's... And choking um, him from outside the cage. Uh, looking like Rufio if he didn't... <laughs> if he grew up. Oh my god, that's Mark Lewin, I think. <laughs> Fucking shite, man. That's one of the worst matches ever. Like, that was... I've got to stop the next one coming on. WWE All-Star Championship Wrestling. That was one of the worst matches of all time. Yeah. And yeah. I... Just, and I I, oh, I apologise for worn that. out. I apologise for that. Because <laughs> it just... I thought I'd have some humour, I thought I'd have something, but... that oh. was, The dog kennel match is better. That's worn me out now. The dog kennel match is better. Graveyard match, WCW 2000 is better. Yeah. What else is better? I've seen a new low there. I've got many we matches. We choked it for nine minutes. Many so. of Vince Russo's matches are better than that. Yeah. Because at least it was capabilities to do something. Is the Vampiro one better? With Sting in the graveyard? Yeah. No, yeah. I can't, I can't. Okay. Even the Undertaker and no, AJ. The thing that makes the Sting one worse better. is when the, the referee has to lifeguard and save him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charles Robinson <laughs> becomes like Baywatch. Na, na, na. Fucking hell. They put him in a shark cage and bump and grind against him, but they don't actually do anything. Anyways, thanks for watching. Again, the last fan standing. I can't even speak. I'm frazzled from that. <laughs> Fried. Is that what you heard? You set me up in a shark cage. A shark cage? You must be insane. I love her anger. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe, let us know if there's any matches you'd like us to commentate over, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time.